Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to show you how you can connect your Flask app to AWS RDS PostgreSQL database. So let's begin. So first of all, you can head up to your AWS console and now we can create a database. So for creating a database, you can go to RDS and then head up to DB instances. Now in the DB instances, you can click on create database and select the configuration for the database. So I'm choosing a PostgreSQL database here and now I can choose other configurations as well. So I'll just choose a free tier right here. And for the username, I'll just give it username, which is it Postgres. And I can write a password here. Uh, you can also create, uh, you can also auto generate password here, but I'll just write it myself. And for the other part, you can allow the public access. And also you can name your database in the additional configuration. I think I'll just name it something like test. Postgres. Now I can keep every other parameter as it is. And now I'll create the database here. All right, so let uh, so the database will take some time to be created. So let's do the coding part for now. All right, so I have a sample app right here, which is Flask, and I have the app.py file right here. So first of all, for connecting to uh, PostgreSQL on AWS RDS, you need to install some libraries in Python. So we can begin installing libraries such as script install. And then we can install Flask, obviously. Then we can install Flask SQL Alchemy. And then we can also install PsychoPG to binary to connect to PostgreSQL database. So we'll just install these libraries. And now we can begin creating a Flask app. So I'll just create a small Flask app right here. Um, so for this, we have to import SQL Alchemy. It is a tool which is used to connect to SQL type databases like MySQL and PostgreSQL. So we use Flask, Flask SQL Alchemy to connect to our AWS RDS DB instance. Oh, so now I can set a database URI, which we'll use to connect to our database instance. So I can just name it something like DB URI. And uh, uh, now I can start creating my URI, which is a string. So I'll just make it a F string so we can pass in the variables, uh, but I'll just hard code it for now. If you want to use, you can also use configuration files or you can also use environment files to keep it anonymous or secretive. All right, so for the database URI, now I'll uh, try the database URI format. So the database URI, first of all, consists of PostgreSQL, which is our connector, and then semicolon, slash, slash. Then, oh, then, uh, then you have to write the name of the DB user. So for me, the DB user was Postgres. And now you can pass the password. So I'll just write the password, which I've written there. And then you can uh, write that and now the host name. So host name will be given once the database instance has been created. So I'll just uh, hard code host here. I'll just tell you what the host is after the DB instance has been created. Now I can pass the DB name after a slash. So DB name uh, I had set to test Postgres. And for the host, now we can go back to our instance and check if it has been created or not. All right, it is still creating, so let's just wait for it to create. Then we will get our host, and then we can connect to that particularly. All right, until then, I'll just write a sample fast cap here, which will return connected to database on the home page, so we can confirm if it is connected to our database or not. All right, so we can de declare an app with Flask name, and then we can set the SQL Alchemy database URI, which will be used to connect the app to a database. So you can write an app dot config. And then you can config the SQL Alchemy database URI, and then you can keep it to your variable above, which is DB URI. All right, so now you can set the DB, which is SQL Alchemy, and then in the bracket, you can pass in app. So this is our DB instance, and you can run query using this DB variable. All right, so now I'll just set a sample root right here. 
is app dot route slash I can just uh, keep it something like define home and then I can return connected to AWS RDS PSQL and then we can just write in the if name equals to, equals to main then we can run the app on debug mode all right so this is how you can connect to a database in your flask app now you can simply run queries um, using db variable so if you want to run something like db dot create all it will create the databases for you and then you can also uh, run queries like db dot session dot add which will add a variable then you can also run various type of queries with this db to uh, basically access your database from your flask app all right so that's how you could connect to your flask app i'll just displace the host right here and show you that it is connected so for the host i'll just copy it from here it has been created the endpoint and i'll go here and paste it right here all right so now if i run this app we should have our database connected all right so there was no there were no errors given that means our database has connected connected and if i go to the 5000 port it says connected to aws rdsp psql which was the statement printed after the home url which was printed after connecting to database all right perfect so that was how you can connect the flask app to a aws rds instance for postgresql and i think that's it for the video so thanks for watching